Good morning, namaste everyone and welcome to the Monday reading and angel message. I've got a couple of decks of cards out for you today and um, I'm ready to get started and pull you some cards. I'm not, um, hi Mish, I'm not 100% uh, certain what I'm talking about today but that's okay, I'm going to let the angels take over for this one beautiful people. So I just want to say thank you all so much for being here. Hi Jenny, all the way from the US, and Kylie. Hi Kylie. Hi Ida. Lovely to see you here. Thanks for coming. So how are you finding the energy at the moment? How are you in your own energy? Have you checked in with your energy today? Hi Monica. Hi Zana. Hi Cassandra. Have you been checking in with yourself and where you are at, what your mood is, and how your energy feels today? That's the most important thing, I think, to start a week. I always try to get down um, to the beach or in, out in nature first thing on a Monday morning, if I can, to just ground myself and check in and to see not just how I feel, but also what needs clearing for my energy and how get myself focused and the intentions strong for the week ahead. So I'd love to know if you guys um, do that and how you're feeling. Hi, Michelle. Good to hear, Ida, good to hear. So I've got two decks of cards out. I'll get started with the card reading for you and let's see what comes up from that. I know many of you have been messaging me, letting me know that you um, want some help moving through issues or you feel like you're stuck in the same thing or you, you can't you can't manifest what it is that you want and I want to encourage you if you're not already a part of it I've got this free group called rich angelic um, rich radiant manifesting which is um, you just need to sign up for it ask to join it I'll put the link up on my page later on and you know I'm putting stuff in there to help you to overcome any blocks that you might have to manifesting or you know give insights as to what could be blocking you if you're feeling blocked somebody wrote me the other day and said that they were confused because they're doing their manifesting and nothing seems to be happening yet and they were worried that they might be doing something to block it and sometimes we are doing something to block it you know it's it helps to read up about manifesting and to join groups like mine and to really maybe even get some personal healing to find out what's in the way. And that's not to say that you're wrong or you're bad, you're human and this is earth school and we are learning as we grow. You know, if we just got handed everything on a plate, we wouldn't learn anything, we wouldn't grow. It's all about your soul's growth. So often the places, um, the places where we feel stuck is often the place where we need to do some personal inner work. And we need to connect with our spirit and with our angels and go to it because they take us to a higher frequency. When we go to that higher frequency, we can start to discover what our barriers are, whether they're beliefs, whether they're experiences, traumas, whether it's something um, we're thinking, saying or doing in our present moment that is a barrier to us receiving what it is that we want to to, to make our lives flow and grow. This isn't just about being materialistic and shallow and external living only. Your, what you're manifesting can be anything. It can be to do with your spiritual growth. It can be to do with your relationships. You know, we are all here learning and growing and I never want you to beat yourself up, to feel bad because you've been through a bad experience. You know, that just adds another energy level that you have to clear if you're holding on to guilt and shame because you've had a trauma, because you've been through a bad relationship, because you've been ill, or you've, you've seemed to be in a hole longer than you wanted to. There is nothing wrong with any of that. It's all about learning and growing. And you know, I would challenge you to find a perfect human being who just does everything perfectly. You know, some of our most um, wonderful leaders and teachers are people that have been through a lot you know, who have been through, you know, that's why elders in um, shamanic cultures, indigenous cultures, are so revered because they've lived. They're holding on to a great deal of wisdom and they've, you know, they've carried that wisdom through them. So when you've lived, 
unfortunately that means you're probably carrying a few scars and a few heartbreaks and and a bit of loss and some failures inverted commas because failure isn't real um so please never ever beat yourself up or don't let anyone say to you mm, you know how did you attract that because whilst yes you know we do have certain soul lessons that help us to grow and it helps to have a look at like what am i learning here what is it in me that drew this to me not in a negative way as in you're a bad person and therefore you're being punished but as in what is it i need to learn here what is it my soul wants me to know rather than you should feel bad about yourself because you've been through something that's um a whole load of rubbish hi karen and therese and Rosalie J. Jenny has been, has this, it's a rainy, gloomy day there in the US. Hi, Jenna. And Cassandra says she's feeling a bit flat, tired, first day of school holidays. Or maybe your body's catching up. You know, when we have a rest, sometimes the first day of our weekend or a holiday, we can feel a bit like that because it's like you, your consciousness finally goes, okay, I can, I can rest. I don't have to do the to do list today. Hi, Angelina. Good morning. So I'm going to pull some cards for you and we'll see what comes up for the week ahead. So there's a really nice energy around today, but you might be feeling a little bit ungrounded. And um, sometimes when we feel ungrounded, we can spin off into negative thoughts. So make sure that you ground yourself. You put your energetic roots into the earth. Um, and, you know, grounding isn't just about being energetically centered. It's really important, really important, especially for sensitive people. But it's also about being consciously present in this moment, here and now, because that's where all the energy is. That's where your guidance is. That's where the manifesting happens. If you're always in the past, always in the future, it's really hard for spirit to find you. So... Make sure that you are breathing deeply, you're putting your energetic tree roots into the earth, calling in your angels to be with you, and bringing yourself into the present moment. So, okay. So I'm pulling a card from the Archangel Michael deck, and then I'm going to pull you one from the um, Keepers of the Light, who are the, the Masters. The Ascended Masters, wow, okay, two, and we've got another one from Archangel Michael coming. So I'm always listening to the angels when I do reading. Incidentally, I'm, I'm teaching Rich Angelic Alchemy, this live training course that I've, um, I've just started this, this year online, and I've got a um, beautiful class of women from all over the world are a part of it, and tonight, uh, tomorrow night I'm teaching how to read the Oracle Cards. So it's a it's a a beautiful six part course. So when I launch that again, I will let you know. So for some of you, you might be holding on to some guilt. Now remember what I said before about feeling um, uncentered or feeling off, going off into negative thoughts, or even feeling like sometimes what's blocking me? Like why can't I move forward? Why isn't this thing happening yet? And one of the major blocks that I've come across in my, my group classes as well as my one-on-one -on -one program with people is low self-worth. And that low self-worth is often connected with guilt, shame, feeling bad about yourself because of something that happened or feeling bad because you've absorbed um, the guilt for something that was out of your control or just not feeling good because you haven't moved forward yet in your life. So the angels are saying here, this is an Archangel Michael card, I don't know if you can see it in the light there. So give yourself, you've done nothing wrong. So this is saying in spiritual truth, if you really understand yourself from a spiritual perspective, you are a soul with body. And from spiritual truth, there is no fear in the divine mind. There's no lack, no scarcity, no disease. There's you know, no sort of guilt or, or negative energy in the divine mind because the divine only comes from love. And that's where your true soul and spirit comes from. That's what you are. So when you align with that truth by connecting with your angels who are God's messengers, who are your divine guides, protectors this lifetime, and with the source, um, divine spirit, you start to think with the divine mind and your life starts to align and fall into place 
because you're coming from the place of wholeness instead of emptiness. So here it is saying, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. It is time for you to let yourself off the hook. It's time for you to cleanse your energy, purify your soul, and allow good things to come into you because guilt, fear, blame as well. You cannot blame another person without simultaneously blaming yourself. It's a mirror. And so it, it, everything in this universe mirrors back at us. And so if you blame others, you are subconsciously always going to feel guilty and blame and shame yourself because you believe that that energy exists. I hope I'm making sense. Hi, everyone who's come on. Erica from Northern Canada. La Laura. Lovely to see you, Laura. I haven't seen you in a long time. Lizzie's here. Yay. Marcel, Sanji. Addictions are out of control. Oh, Marcel. So addictions are when we reach out to something else to make us feel good. And that's because we need to reconnect with a divine source. That's a simplified version of it. But connecting to divine source can really help you with that. Um, and Jess is here. Hi, Jess. So that's your first card from Archangel Michael. So what's the natural antidote to self-blame, guilt, feeling ashamed, feeling horrible about yourself? And that is to give yourself love and compassion. Look at this beautiful card. You know, Lily Moses I've never met her personally, but I really want to. She is a divine artist, and she's done the artistry on these cards, and I believe she's done them on these other cards too. But she has done a depiction of Kuan Yin here, who is the female Buddha. Why have I gone dark? I've got my beautiful light going there. Okay, the f probably because I put the thing right up to the camera. The female Buddha of compassion, and she's saying that you've got to, the only way to rid yourself of guilt is to first forgive yourself and then give yourself care and compassion. So if you look at yourself through the eyes of compassion, think about a best friend or a child or a, um, a loved one, you know, even your favorite pet. Think about like how much you love and, and have compassion for them. And if they did something that they perceived as wrong, how would you view it? Would you be judgmental? Would you beat them up? Would you be horrible to them? Often we treat others how we treat ourselves. Or would you be kind and gentle? Well, you've got to treat yourself like you would to that child, that um, that animal, that that loved one, and and stop judging yourself. So when you come from a place of love, you will always do the thing that is right, that is the highest. And so this is saying you need to start to put care and compassion into your world. Now, when we talk about addictions, this is another good thing. You know, addictions can be like, you know, mild or they can be can be fierce. But maybe it's it's an opportunity to give compassion, not just to yourself, but to others, because it gets you out of your own drama, out of your own story, when you start to share that compassion and kindness with other people. The next card that I have for you is offering you a solution for your energy. So when it comes to your energy field, your energy field responds to everything you think and feel. It also responds to the external world and it, it, it interacts. And that's where I do my work with people is that we start to clear away the energies that you may have taken on that have caught, you know, having a root cause with the issues that you have emotionally, mentally, physically in your life. So, um, here we have shield yourself, put yourself in an energetic bubble. Now putting yourself in an energetic bubble once you've cleared your energy is really important, not only to keep your energy nice and clean and clear, but also so that you can stay in energetic control of your, of your aura. Sometimes when people are under a lot of pressure or they're sad or they're going through something or even when you're excited, your energy field can be like all over the place. And it, you need to harness, if you watched my angelic masterclass that I did a month ago, you would have learned how to harness your energy, pull it in, surround it with light, call on the angels. That helps you to focus. It helps you to be more grounded. And it also really helps you when you're doing deep spiritual work. When, you're really, when your soul wants you to work with you, your issues will come up. You'll feel really emotional. You'll feel like, oh, my God, what am I, what's going on? It's time for you to do some healing. And so if you protect your energy at that time, you're not going to be taking on everybody else's stuff at the same time. And the final card, which I've dropped on the floor, 
is about your life force energy. Sternanus, kunanus, I don't know how to say that. I'm going to have to look it up and learn it. So this is showing you, this is an outcome card. Look at the power in that card. It's very, you know, very Celtic, very um, druid, like earthly energy. It reminds me of reading about Avalon. And this is about harnessing your life force, your true energy coming back. And it's not energy that comes from caffeine. It's not energy that comes from false external things. It's, it's your true life force energy. You've got to connect to source for that. You've got to connect in with your spirit. And you've got to recognize who you really are and accept who you are. Accept who you are. When you reject yourself constantly, you may as well just be pushing all of the good things away that spirit's trying to send you, including your life force energy. So your energy is going to come up when you follow the guidance in this reading. Hi, everybody who's joined since. Yes, Miss Shu is a beautiful artist. Reiki help for you. Well, Reiki is a form of um, life force energy, isn't it? That's one of the one of the things is that it is source energy that comes through the channel and um, and onto the client or the the person that's being healed. So when you become a a master of Reiki, then that energy is flowing through you to other people, but it also is helping you. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Patricia. Yes, Erica, you're right. Um, sounds like you need your own little podcast going there. Um, forgiving, self-forgiveness. So are there any questions about today's um, presentation, today's video? If you'd like to ask anything, just now is your moment. Um, it's, I really love doing this. I really love um, that you come on and um, connect in. And I really appreciate you coming in and sharing your energy with me. If there's anything in particular you'd like me to speak about in future videos, then you know, please let me know. My Rich Radiant Angel manifesting group is free. You can hop on there. Um, it's a really beautiful energy there, and I post there quite often. I also do a video, an extra video there every week, if not more, if I'm not too busy. If you're interested in um, Angels at LaRue, talk about your... Um, <laughs> I talk about getting excited and your life force energy. You know, um, Uluru is one of the sacred centers of, of the planet, and I'm holding my two day uh, retreat workshop out there on May 18th and 19th. We are setting up some really beautiful things for everybody who's coming. I know Angelina. Angelina, you might be excited. You say you're excited for no reason, you're waiting for something. Maybe there's some new guidance coming in for you, but maybe you're waiting for Uluru because you're, I know that you're coming for that. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing program. We do awakening exercises, activating meditations. We're grounding you into the sacred light around Uluru and, some, and you will receive some very, very clear messages while you're there. We'll be doing intuitive work. We will be um, doing some really deep healing and cleansing, releasing. We do a releasing ceremony at the base of Uluru. It's one of the most beautiful places on earth. And the energy is very pure. So the energy that, that comes through the portal there is very, very high vibrational and floods through you. So when you're there with intention, doing the work that we're doing with the angels and the guardians, you you have an amazing experience. So this was, is the fourth one that I've done um, at Uluru. Is Rock Resort, and um, this one is proving to be the most exciting. We've got a, um, a a meeting with some of the traditional owners for the people that are going to be a part of that program. If you're interested, there's still a couple of spaces left. Um, I know that there are some people that are, are still to sign up because it's highly unusual that there's even rooms available. They just released some rooms for us. Um, Okay, somebody said about help with visualization. So, Jenny, one of the things you can do is call an Archangel Raphael to help to clean up your third eye chakra, which is the eye, the spiritual eye, um, between your two eyebrows. Often that energy center can be clogged up when we've been through trauma, when we've um, seen a lot of difficult things in life, or even when we've had too much screen time or you're tired, you know, that you have to... Um, clear that area often. So ask Archangel Raphael to help you with your clairvoyance and to help you to visualize because clairvoyance isn't just about receiving messages, it is about the ability to use your imagination to visualize. 
Um, and also doing little exercises, you know, um, visualizing simple things, like just thinking pink triangle and holding that as long as you can, as clearly as you can in your mind's eye is really important. But the angels are also saying, Jenny, to pay attention to your physical sight. So um, taking vitamins and minerals that help with your vision, but also pay attention to signs you see in the physical world, like feathers, like finding a white feather. That's a form of clairvoyance. It's a form of, of your third eye working because your attention has been drawn to that, whereas other people might not have seen it. When you, when you see something like a rainbow, maybe a cardinal bird comes and says hi to you, or you even see little orbs, um, spiritual signs, always thank the angels and connect in with them. Um, and, you know, acknowledge yourself, give yourself a pat on the back, because it's a sign that your clairvoyance is awakening, that your third eye is waking up. So Angelina says that she's Looking forward to Uluru, and she is getting excited about it, and your aura reading is skyrocketed. Wow, that's amazing, Angelina. So, you know, when you get that excited feeling, it's often because you know, your intuition knows that something good is coming. Um, thanks so much, everybody. I love the comments and, and your questions, and let me know where you are. This is your, um, your way to touch base. Thanks, Erica. I'm glad that they resonate with you, too. And when you're ready, I'm sure that Reiki 3 Masters will be there for you. And um, I will see you next week. Thanks so much. Angel blessings.